What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna head over to St. Augustine and Florida. We're gonna go check out uh, Castillo del Marco, de Marcos. And while I'm over there, I'm gonna take advantage and take my uh, my camper and get it checked out at the, uh, the specialist up there. I've been wanting to go up there, so it's my first road trip in it. Hopefully I uh, won't have any issues, so let's go. I just got off the phone with my cousin. Uh, we're gonna meet up. He's gonna actually roll up there with me. So we're gonna meet up halfway and then uh, go up there. Uh, I'm gonna take Interstate 75 up and it uh, should be a smooth ride. And then we're gonna get into the back road. So we're gonna see a little bit of the uh, country here in Florida. at St. Augustine and check that out. We're here, made a quick stop at the East Coast uh, VW restoration place. Check out this one right here. Check it out. It's funny. It's All right, so I'm not gonna bore you guys with the uh, stop here at the Volkswagen joint. I'll check back in with you guys when I get to Castillo de San Marco. All right guys, so we're in uh, St. Augustine and this is a little bit about St. Augustine. It's the oldest uh, continuously occupied European settled and I'm going to show you guys in a few minutes the oldest wooden school in the whole United States. We're at this restaurant called Averna del Caballo and then we're going to go ahead over to the Castillo de Marco, uh, de San Marcos to go check that out. Um, so I'll be showing you guys some of that. Um, yeah, we're going to have some lunch right now. Come on. Oh, man. I haven't introduced you guys. I'm with the uh, most interesting man in the world. He's the Panamanian MacGyver right here. My, I'm introducing my cousin right here, Carlos. <laughs> Okay, so we're standing here by the uh, Basilica of St. Augustine and just walking down the, the street here, uh, you can feel the, the Spanish influence, there's a, all the Spanish architecture around here. This city was founded in 1565 by uh, Menendez Aviles, uh, admiral and explorer from uh, Spain. But anyways, uh, check this uh, nice cathedral, it's really nice. I'm going to go to the front over here and check it out. Uh, maybe we'll take a quick look inside. So guys, this isn't a tour of St. Augustine. I'm just gonna show you guys what, what I get to see here while I'm here, which is gonna be real short, real short visit. But that was Flagler College back over there and uh, it's just a really nice town. Honestly, uh, a lot of nice architecture here. Uh, but we're gonna go to the front of the cathedral over here and go check out the uh, Castillo de San Marcos. And that's a fortress, a Spanish, well, a fortress the Spanish built back in the 1700s. te parece el town el otro? Ah, <laughs> interesante. A pretty, huh? Very interesting. Is that All right, so that was the cathedral. Uh, we got to get going soon, so let's let's go over there to the fort. Casa la música. 
<laughs> Check out the uh we'll get one of these. Start vlogging with one of these. Look how cool this is here. Real nice. Check it out, here it is, the uh, oldest wooden schoolhouse in the U.S. Check it out. A lot of history here. Let's check this out over here. So just a little quick fact about this gate here it opened up in 1739 and it uh, provided the only access to the uh, defense line on the north side of uh, the Spanish side of St. Augustine. Check it out. How many? Two. All right, so we're standing outside of the fort here. Uh, I'm gonna give you a few facts about this fort. Uh, again, it's called, uh, the original name is Castillo de San Marcos, which is named by the Spaniards. And so this fort's been here since 1672, and it's made out of this uh, material called, a, a quarried material called uh, uh, coquina. Um, and we just missed the uh, firing of the cannon, so I'm not going to be able to show you guys that, but we're going to go inside and check it out. Like a little it rocket. Cool. <laughs> Milanes. This Castillo never fell to an opposition. It was only given to the English in 17 something uh, for the Treaty of Paris. That's how the English got it. Another fact, they've flown four flags over this, uh, at this uh, fort. The Spanish, the British, the US, and the Confederate flag. So, a couple interesting facts. get over the detail these cannons have put a lot of work into this for uh, for it to go to war check it out So another quick uh, fact, this was called Fort Marion so during the eight, late 1800s, 1865. They used to bring the Native Americans here and this was used as a prison to hold them here. Native Americans from the West is what I understand. Uh, and so this was used as a prison back then. Mm -hmm. 
So this is where these uh, soldiers used to sleep at. And here's the fireplace. Here are the beds. I just can't imagine rats and stuff roaming around in here. <laughs> Well, that's it, man. We're going to take off. We're going to head back to Tampa. Castillo de San Marcos here in St. Augustine, Florida. Beautiful town. Real nice. Quaint. A lot of history. Historic city. Uh, hope you guys like this video. I'm going to go uh, take off. If you guys like this video, go ahead and uh, hit that like button. If, consider subscribing to my channel. I'll have more vlogs coming up soon. Until next one, guys. Peace out. They came out with a GoPro uh, Karma, which is their first drone. Uh, they came out with a new GoPro Hero 5 Black and a GoPro Hero 5 Session, uh, which is pretty exciting.